What's up guys? It's Drifts and Lifts here. So uh, today I'm doing a little walk around video on my buddy's new uh, Volvo 740 SE that he picked up. So uh, me and my good friend Kieran, we picked this up yesterday from a guy that was very enthusiastic about it. Um, it's a beautiful car. Uh, that's the reason I'm filming it and going to do a little test drive and stuff is because it is absolutely gorgeous. I've never owned a Volvo this nice. Um, it's been immaculately maintained so um, it's really cool because it's a 740 SE model so the SE was um, it was basically a trim package that had a really cool body kit and I'm not really too sure the whole just of it but um, I, I think it like leather seats a black leather interior black body kit the the body kit is mat is paint matched to the car so um, it's really nice this example has a lot of IPD performance parts done to it. So um, let me take a look under the hood here. So we've got things like a chassis strut base. This car has a 15G turbo on it. Um, so that's from an 850 Volvo. Uh, the previous owner, he put the law start of chips in it. So that increases the rev limiter and changes the fuel mapping uh, and as well as spark. It's got a bigger NPR intercooler in it. Um, what other things? It's been really well maintained. Like everything I could ask the guy when we were checking out the car was basically, yep, I did that. Yep, that's been done. That's been done. That's been done. So uh, it's pretty rad. Even like the PCV box has been clean and stuff. So there's nothing he, Kieran, really has to worry about this car as he drives it off into the future. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for a little test drive in it. It's got all IPD suspension parts in it, so it has IPD spring, uh, springs front and rear. It also has IPD sway bar in the front, um, Coney shocks front and rear, I believe, or Bliston in the front, but it rides really nice. The only downside to the car is it's an automatic, so, um, but hey, what can you do? It's so nice that we couldn't resist. Like it's even got 940 uh, Euro lights on the front, which is really cool. So. Um, yeah guys, hope you liked the video. I'm gonna go for a little cruise in it, do a couple acceleration pulls and uh, talk a little bit more about how nice this car is. So yeah, this uh, this car's got, it even had a wide band gauge installed with a boost gauge, um, oil pressure, oil temp, which is really cool. All the stock gauges still work. Um, he also put a Momo hub adapter with a Momo steering wheel, which is a kind of cool little feature. It's got full interior in really good shape, mind you. Uh, the interior is really nice compared to a lot of all the 740s I've seen, right? So the car's got 370,000K on it. And, um, you know, that's it's not too much for this car. It's clearly been really well maintained. And 370 on some other cars may be a little aggressive, but um not this one so here you go guys I'm gonna go for a little cruise which way should i go let's go this way so if we get out it's full operating temp let's step on it So the car goes <clears throat> really good. Um, it's running 15 pounds of boost roughly, so it spikes to 15, it probably levels off at 13 pounds. Um, on the stock injectors, that's how that's about the max you're gonna wanna go, but uh, the previous owner was uh, assures us that he ran 94 octane in it all the time, so motor's really healthy, aside from like, even though it's been running that much boost for a while now. Um, yeah, this car drives so nice, like the IPD shocks and springs and stuff, uh, sorry, the Coney shocks and the IPD springs, they make it stiff as well with the sway bar, so there's not really much body roll as I go side to side here. It's pretty stiff, but it also, you know, has a little bit of comfort left in it, whereas uh, the cut springs that I usually have on my cars, they, uh, <laughs> it's like a it's like a pogo stick basically. Um, it's really stiff and when you hit a pretty good bump, it bounces you pretty good. Cause at that point the suspension's so stiff that the tire's basically taking the the impact and it's, it's bouncing back after that, so. Um. 
So with these tires, the car doesn't like to, uh, you know, in first gear, it'll kick the back tires out, but these tires are really grippy winters and uh, plants the car pretty nicely in second gear. It doesn't spin at all. So, um, here, maybe we can get another full throttle acceleration here. Okay, so I'm, I'm basically gonna, this is first gear. I'm just gonna pin it. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm speeding heavily. Now I'm going highway speed, and it's a, it's a public road, so <laughs> I'm not gonna go much faster than that because I could get in a lot of trouble, which I already have many times before. It's not the nicest feeling. I'm sorry, officer. I just like turbo Volvos too much. Maybe we can spin the tires a bit here. Let's give it a go. Control the car with one hand, uh, film with the other. Oh, it's so grippy. It doesn't even want to spin. The car goes really good though. As you see, like it's up to highway speed in probably like around six seconds or so. You know, for the price that Kieran paid for this, $2,000, I think he got an amazing deal on it. Um, if you consider that a stock Volvo 740 Turbo these days, you know, they go for around $1,000 is kind of the going rate for them. Um, maybe you get lucky and you get one for even cheaper like I have before, or maybe you overpay like I've also done before. But uh, this car, with all the mods that's been done to it, it's definitely, you know, there's probably about 2,000 worth of mods, if not more, probably 2,500. Um, so he basically paid for the mods of the car and he got the Volvo 740 SE on top of that for free. <laughs> so um, great, great deal. The only problem with the car is it's automatic, but hey, that can always be swapped. I have an M46 swap in my garage that uh, Kieran could throw in this if he wanted to. Um, but honestly, with the automatic, uh, when, when you're running like lots of horsepower, apparently, I've never tried this, but apparently the automatic is pretty sturdy if you do the accumulator mod. So it can hold a pretty good amount of horsepower and it's gonna shift pretty aggressively, which, which would be uh, good for drag racing. Um, There you go guys, so beautiful car. Um, Kieran got, he, he got a good one here. So thanks to Kieran for letting me take it for a drive and make a little video out of it. Um, yeah, no drifting videos with this car, for today at least, it's not mine. But um, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Um, and I know it's nothing crazy, just a little uh, walk around acceleration test in this very nice Volvo 740 SE. Um, so yeah guys, like and subscribe for uncooked Volvo pierogies. Peace out.